right now, making his Tomorrowland winter debut. Joel Corey, say hello to the world, brother. Oi, oi, thank you for having me. Come on, <laughs> we've got phone interference. Hey, look, this is your debut, so is it as imagined? Tell me. Oh, uh, this is magical, this place, and this is my, like, first proper like winter festival as well. And it's so amazing to be like on the ski slopes, dropping bangers, mm -hmm. just being involved in it. It's, um, it's definitely a magical experience. Skiing or après skiing? Um, skiing. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you know what I say now? I don't even have to ski, so <laughs> I, I went dog sledding, if oh, that counts. How was that? Yeah, that was, that was easy, I just sat there. <laughs> yeah, but it was good fun, right? <laughs> it was good fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, felt like, I felt like Santa Claus being taken around by the reindeers. <laughs> so, even though the, the snow, the, it's so warm outside, right? <laughs> it's so hot, mate. I've been like, it feels like I'm on holiday. I packed so many, like, winter clothes, <laughs> but I've been walking around in a T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nearly brought my twin set out. <laughs> Is the, you're the best, I know Madge called you best in the vest. Yeah, Have I mean, you bought any vests? I, I was a bit across the line. I was saying to my mate, should I just bring Best stuff, do like it, that. do it, do you? Um, all right, so let's let's go back. There's a lot of excitement, a lot of good energy. Let's go back to that main stage set. Yeah. And um, what's that? T tell me what you saw. Uh, tell it was me how great. You felt. Yeah, I landed um, yesterday, went to the main stage, and um, I played early. But it was it was a lovely set time because the room was filling up as I started, and it was my job to basically set the vibe, get the party started, mm -hmm. and um, that's what I felt like I did. And by the end of the set, the energy was really buzzing in the room, and then um, you know the show started there. And I just felt like everyone was really ready to like, let loose then. And I'd kind of created a nice little journey in the set, started with more of my sort of commercial pop hits, but then went into like the last section was more techno and a melodic techno and a bit heavier. So when happy we finish speaking, I'm going to play part two of your set. Yeah. All right? So just so you know, we're going to hear that in the a moment. best part. <laughs> we're going to hear this in a moment. Um, I want to say congratulations because I don't get the chance to say that to you. The, the figures, the streaming, the, 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 the gold discs and all the platinum stuff, what's that feel like right now for you? Uh, it's, in, it's incredible when you look at the stats and the discs. It's all, it's all very validating. Um, but you know what? The main thing is just I'm so grateful to be able to travel around the world, do DJing, which is what my hobby was since mm -hmm. I was a teenager. It's the love of my life. And now I'm literally living my dream. So, and all the stats and all the certifications are amazing. But what means more to me is that I'm able to you know, do what I love to do. And not a lot of people can say that in life. Mm -hmm. And that, um, I guess that you're trying to manifest things in your life. And was one of those last week in the studio, maybe, by chance? <laughs> I mean, last week was definitely a pinch myself moment. I was in LA for a writing week and, um, you know, the, the absolute icon Kylie Minogue came through and we had a great day together. And it was definitely a pinch myself moment. You know, she's amazing and, and um, we had great chemistry as well. We just had the most fun day ever. So what does that mean? What what happened from, and what it will happen from that day? Well, listen, all I can say right now was we made an absolute bang up. <laughs> Is that... Is that a collaborative project or is that for you or is it for her or is that too early to say? I can't say no more. Oh. But just know it was a banger. Okay, well, <laughs> guaranteed, all right. Now, what, what else is happening in your world that we don't know about that you're excited about? Um, you know what? Um, well, apart from being here at Tomorrowland Winter, Come on. Um, I'm actually heading off to Australia next month, um, which I'm really looking forward to. I love going down under. So, here. gearing up for my Australia tour. I'm actually off to Miami this weekend as well for, to catch the end of Music Week. Um, so, loads of great stuff happening. You know, IB for Residency in the summer's announced. My third year back at IB for Rocks. So, big year ahead. Um, loving life, making tunes, making bangers, doing my thing, and just keeping it moving, man. You've not even finished here yet. You've still got another set to do <laughs> yes, tomorrow, <I> do. <laughs> right? So, what happens between now and tomorrow? Like, you're just up like you're going out tonight. I'm going out, <laughs> out tonight. <laughs> so, what does that look like? Where, where are you going to spend your time tonight, do you know? I'm definitely going to go and explore because I haven't had a proper look around yet so tonight I want to get out there um, catch the vibe at night time around here because I've been out all day but I want to see it come to life at night go to the main stage catch some sets meet some people and just get involved man maybe a bit of tequila come on <laughs> make sure you get that back, back, backstage pass ready all right because oh, it's yeah, going to yeah. go off uh, Joel it's always pleasure and great great success may it continue because it's crazy I've just realized you, you asked what the snowballs were so I actually need to give you a snowball question roll that for us you'll get a number and I get to ask the final question as supplied by the people of tomorrow there oh. it is oh he's oh, balls it? everywhere hold on go on he's gone to get the balls I got it what number 74 74 okay what's your favorite number by the way Seven. Is Ronaldo, it? Ronaldo, bro. Come oh. on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. No superstitions, Ronaldo. All right. How do you adapt your DJ style to different venues, events, or cultural contexts? 
I just think you've got to have that knowledge of where you're going, where you're playing. And if you don't, you could do a little bit of research. And, um, you know, when you travel around the world, you might be playing in, you know, Asia or Europe or America or South America. Um, Everywhere's a little bit different. In the UK, they have their own style. And I just think it's having that knowledge and preparing the set a little bit ahead of time and, and going in there with a little bit of a plan and just, yeah, just um, getting the bangers ready for what you think that audience is going to want. Caring, caring about what you do. 100%, you think about every single set you're going to play and, you know, preparation is important. So when you get there, you can nail it and feel that you can walk away feeling you did the best you could. Wise words. If you're listening at home, take those words on board and put them um, somewhere safe. <laughs> Joel Corey, always good to see you. Go and enjoy tonight. I'll see you backstage for some tequila. I'm not drinking it, you are. Hey. <laughs>